talk about St. Jude's a little bit. How, if you could talk about that. What was that letter? Was that a, uh, a diary? It was a piece? blog. A, it was a blog. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that just a little bit? St. Jude affected me in such a profound way. I remember uh, Trent Tomlinson and I were talking at uh, 12th and Porter one time, and it was he had just gotten back from St. Jude, and he said, "Have you been to St. Have you done the St. Jude thing yet?" And I was like, "No, you know, I haven't." And um, I remember just going, "I wonder what that's all about." And then a few weeks later, Randy had mentioned it and brought it up, and um, then before you know it, six months later, it was my turn to go, and so. Uh, I guess I, I drove down there and I expected to be affected. I knew I was going to a children's hospital and I knew that I knew that um, I love children and I love you know helping out in any way I can, you know. But that's a pretty general statement and way to feel. And I guess when I got down there and I was in the room with these people and with these kids and um, I just felt like my gosh, and that's it. Like all you can you know you walk into a room, you say hello tell some jokes and you make some people feel better and it really makes a, a real difference and I thought I need to be doing way more of this you know and, and you know Randy had told me about it in the beginning like this will affect you but I just I really had no clue and when I got back you know I learned about I went to management and I said you know how how can I be more involved so that next year when I go back I can uh, have more of a perspective so when I give the interviews about you know, just helping children in general. How can I be more um, in the know? And I learned about how Rascal Flats, you know, they go to the Vanderbilt Children's Hospital and I talked to management and I said, I want to do that. You know, I want to get in there. So we went over and walked around in the hospital. I got a chance to meet uh, some of the kids and uh, there's actually a program where you can go in and write a song with some of the kids that have these illnesses and help them express their feelings. I thought, what a better way to get a, a fresh perspective on songwriting and to help a, a child express what's inside of them and their feelings. And there's just no end to the amount of um, the help that we can do. And I never would have known about it if I hadn't have gone. Sweet. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the majority of stuff I, I need. Is there anything you want to talk about just about? Um, how about, you want to say something? I mean, you've already touched on it. Um, but the label itself, if maybe wishing them luck, if it's yes. you know, talking about being a part of the success, that you're ready to be a part of the next 10 years. Yeah, you know? okay. Okay. To me, like, the thing that excites me the most about the future and about where I want to go as an artist is so much, it's so beyond, yes, I want to sell records, but it's so beyond that. To me, like, there's so much more than just, like, hit singles that I, I mean, of course, I want hit singles, but to me, it means, it means expressing and helping people, like, through words and through music, see things that are going on with them and find ways outside of music that I can also reach people. and. You know, at other labels, I don't think that would be possible, but I, I really see it becoming, the more ideas that I have, that I come to talk to, you know, the people in marketing about, and the more excited they get. And um, I just, I'm so excited to see all the things that we end up doing, and all the ways us artists can work together at the label to, to make it um, what everyone's dream is, you know, beyond, you know, the normal goal of making money, you know, I know everyone, I know everyone there would be excited to do some, some new stuff, so I'm excited to be a part of it. That's sweet, that's perfect.